Welcome back to eBuyer. Today we're unboxing AMD's Ryzen 7 7800X3D CPU and I'm very excited to get into it. So let's just straight away get into it. So already, I already say this every time, but I love AMD's packaging. It's just something that you can put onto the shelf after you're done with it and just have it as like a collectible item. Um, 7000 series, Ryzen, everything you need to say on the box and on the back as well. So let's just strictly get into it. Very minimal packaging, just a piece of cardboard actual chip itself, your community uh, QR code if you have any questions or anything like struggling you can go onto the community tab and then your installation guide as well. So I'll just put them over to the side. So this CPU is the 3DX cache which obviously means they can stack uh, cache vertically which means they just have a lot more room for it. So for example this has eight, uh, 96 uh, megabytes of L3 cache and the closest card is the like 77X that's not a 3D card, it's the most comparable card. It has about 32, so it's quite a big jump. So obviously this is perfect, especially if you're gaming because the CPU has to fetch less memory from the card. It can just get it straight from the cache, so obviously it's a lot faster in that regard. So this chip supports the newest um, Zen 4 architecture, so it obviously supports the new DDR5, and it supports the Gen 4 SSDs and stuff like that. Um, also has a new AM5 socket, so I would say if you're going to rebuild a PC or you're trying to upgrade overall, something like this is a good card to jump off because AMD are gonna support this well into 2025. So again, if you're wanting to upgrade or go fully into a new gaming PC, I'd suggest getting this as your base CPU. Has a uh, eight cores, 16 threads, has a uh, five gigahertz boost clock and about, again, like I said earlier, 96 megabytes of L3 cache, which is quite large for such a small chip. This chip is excellently efficient for a chip of its class. Um, it has about 120 watts uh, TDP, so obviously it works on those lower PSUs. Again, I would suggest getting this if you're going for a full rebuild, rebuild and you're wanting to uh, go quite powerful, this would be the chip I'd suggest. Thank you for watching today's video of the unboxing of the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D, and you can get yours in the description down below. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.